Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And yeah, the top right, I as well, check that out. You got a bunch of nice links there as well. And also thanks for all the support throughout the series and throughout all my series, guys. So I really appreciate it. It's been going really well. And yeah, I really, really, I'm really grateful for that. Hopefully I can keep providing you with some nice content. Uh, but here we are. In this video, I want to make sure we make it more of a game type thing. So it, it feels more like a game. Now the thing is, if I just run this quickly, I want to show you what's going on right now and where we are. What we're doing is we're randomizing the number of points in the shape of the enemy. But it doesn't really matter gameplay wise. So it doesn't really you know, make the enemy harder or move faster or anything like that. Uh, but what I want is I want the enemies with more point counts to be faster and tougher than the ones with less point counts. So a way I want to do this is I'm going to add, go to my enemy.h and I'm going to save the point count. Now points isn't that. Points is the amount of points you will get from um, from uh, the killing the enemy. So I'm going to create an unsigned integer called point count and this point count is going to be initialized to something random and I'm going to do that at the top here this point count equals and I'm going to steal this random thing here I'm going to steal that right there and this point count is not going to be this way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have plus three here but I'm going to have a random between Let's see, uh, random, uh, what is that? Seven, no, eight. So it's going to be between zero to seven and plus three. So, so the maximum value here is going to be 10 and the minimum value is going to be three. So let me just explain that because this random uh, calculation is going to happen first. So that's going to be between zero and seven because I have an eight here, okay? It's always eight digits. So from zero to seven is eight, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, you can count it up to eight that it will give you eight numbers. So this will randomize between zero to eight or zero to seven. So maximum value I can get is seven from here and the minimum is zero. So what happens if I get a zero here? The plus, the addition is gonna happen after this. So that will mean that if I get a zero here, plus three, zero plus three is three, right? So that's the minimum value. Minimum is going to be, be 3. And what is the maximum going to be? Well, if I get the maximum value from this, I can get a 7. Right? It's from 0 to 7. So if I get a 7 from this calculation plus the 3, that's going to give me a 10. So this whole thing will always give me something between 3 to 10. And that is what I want. So I want a, a triangle at the least or something with 10 points in it. So I'll keep that. I'll let you guys think about that. Now we're going to call the init shape after. Do not forget this. Call this afterwards because we're going to be using this point count in this function here. So I'm going to put it below as well so I don't mess that up. So I don't get confused. Go to your enemy H as well. Go down. Put your init shape under your init variables just to remind you in what order this is going. So it's a good way to keep reminding yourself when you're making games. Now when that point count is done, I'm going to be using that here. So I'm going to say this point count, okay? And the radius is going to be this point count uh, multiplied by, uh, let's see. I will keep it at point count as well. So it will be bigger and bigger. Three in a radius is pretty big. Ten radius is pretty huge. So we'll see how we deal with that. But we'll keep it like this. Whatever. That's fine. And then the speed as well is also going to be dependent on this point count. Uh, static cast float. Don't forget that. Because speed is a float value. So I'm going to do this. This point count here as well. HP max is going to be uh, a what is that an integer 
okay so static cast int don't forget that uh, this point count okay and then we'll have 3 HP on that and then we'll see how we deal with that we'll keep it at that and this is not supposed to be zero this is supposed to be this HP max here since they should have a full HP from the beginning damage as well we'll see what we do about that maybe we'll put it at this point count as well and then the points they give is five times or point count so everything is from point count basically type we can ignore for now we don't really need that since we're using point count for everything and then we'll set the position we'll do all this stuff so that's good that's very good so if i run this i try to run it we'll see what happens hopefully we'll get some smaller enemies some bigger enemies something something time t to unsign it i don't know what's going on we'll see okay so all of these are okay so the triangles are slow those are hella fast okay so that's gonna give me a quite a fast speed to be honest so let me just divide that by two we'll just do that speed good we'll keep it actually it should be from this where is this point count set radius here we go point count count times two then we can see it a little clearer three is quite small and then you'll kind of see the smaller ones move slower while the bigger ones move really fast so that's good that's pretty much what we wanted uh, of course you can tune this a little bit i mean i'll divide that by say 10 uh, i guess or two at least and we'll see how that goes anyway let's move on from that so once we have that ready you have some kind of a Thing going now I want the points to be registered so I'm gonna create a little function in my enemy.h called const uh, const int reference get points get points yeah there we go const and this will return how much points every enemy will give me so let me just grab that return this points like this like that simple save that in enemy.cpp right? just like this and once that's done you want to go to your game.cpp and go to where your enemies are killed so wherever we're destroying our enemies using the here it is right here so we're destroying a enemy combat here we go so we're erasing the enemy erasing the bullet we want to increase the points of the game what increase the points where do we have the points we have our point text we have our font but we don't have any points here are the points okay all right so we have the points now we just have to update these points go back to where we were right here i will do this points before we do this actually it should be before we delete the enemy don't forget that i was about to forget that there we go plus equals this enemies at position i that get points like this i'll run this hopefully i'll get some points from these enemies now and then we'll figure this out as we go so good points four 13 okay boom you see those are pretty fast they're pretty small though but they're pretty fast okay so that's good i think it makes it a little fairer to have these enemies a little bigger if they have more points i'm gonna actually multiply this by five just to make them a little bigger you know do that by three there so that should be good 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 so we'll just leave that for now that's enough what else do we have well we need to make sure if an enemy touches the player it also gets erased okay and i'm thinking that should be between the where we're going through all of the enemies right here so we're we're culling them against the top of the screen okay and then we're culling i want to make sure if they touch the player dot get enemy or 
enemy, sorry about that, enemy get bounds dot intersects this player dot get bounds. Okay. If it's not outside of the screen, it's touching the player. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to delete it or I'm going to do this. Now, the reason I didn't put this in the same if statement is delete enemy actually. Uh, there we go. That's because, I mean, I want to see what's going on. You can put this into the same one here. Just make an or here and you'll be good. But this just just to show you guys how that works. So let me touch this. We'll run this and we'll see that they get deleted as we touch. Oh man, that's huge. Boom. Okay, they're being deleted. Deleted, deleted, deleted. Good. Now we have no HP really right now, but we shall, we shall. Okay, so that is, that's great. That's great, guys. So that's it for this video. Next video, probably going to make the HP work. Once we crash with the enemy, HP is going to go down. Maybe we'll have a health bar, all that. Uh, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully we're moving forward, making some progress. Check out all the data here. Print all of these values out to see what they actually are, because that's a good idea. And see how that works. And you'll learn something new, maybe. Uh, but there you go. Check out the description box. The top right eye, drop a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.